Hey math teachers, we spend significant portions of our lives making tests, worksheets and exams in MS Word. I'm going to show you how to set up shortcut keys for frequently used symbols to save tons of editing time. Okay, so this is an example question I'd like to copy paste into my Word file. Now notice it has curly X over here. Control C. Control V. So notice it did not change this into a curly X. I want this to be curly for a neater look so I've already set up shortcuts for that. So all I'll do is put a slash before X and pre press space over here and it changes into a curly X. Similarly here I'll place a, splash, a slash over here, move my key after X and press space again and it changes into curly X again. Similarly, I've set up lots of other shortcuts that come in very handy for me like slash X, slash Y, slash Z. Uh, let's say I want to write 32 degrees, so I'll write 32 D slash, sorry, slash D. Similarly, slash Pi. So now I'll show you how to set up these shortcut keys. Okay, so go to insert then go to symbols, more symbols, autocorrect, math autocorrect. First of all, take both of these boxes. Then you will be looking at all the symbols that Microsoft Word has and their default shortcuts. So find the symbol that you want to use. So let's say I'm working on a worksheet on sets and I need this symbol for proper subset. Now the default shortcut is slash subset equals, so I'll just change it to something that I can remember easily, forward slash ss equals, press equals, forward slash ss equals, press add, ok, and we should be good to go. Let's see if I enter forward slash ss equals, it changes into the symbol of a subset. So there are a million possibilities that you can use and remember that when once you're closing the application of Word, it will ask you to save the changes that, made, that you've made to the program of MS Word. Remember to save those changes, otherwise you'll have to do this all over again. Alright, I hope this video was helpful. I'll see you next time.